Hi, this is Kevin Kraut, Ogden Kraut's son. Um, I'm going to tell a story. Uh, a gentleman came into our, our uh, shop the other day and asked this question. He says, you know, we're heading kind of for a depression, and it looks like things are going to get pretty rough. And what's your suggestions, Kevin? What do you feel that people are, are going to do at this point? And I said, you know, it kind of reminds me of a story when I was young. I really studied out the depression, and I went to a gentleman who was uh, in our hometown, Pima, Arizona. And I says, and I was interviewing him for this class. And I said, boy, it must have been really miserable to go through the depression then. And he sat there for a few minutes and he looked at me and he says, no son, he said, actually, the depression was one of the best years of my life. And I says, the best years of your life? You better explain that one because I don't understand that. And he says, well, let me, um, let me, let me tell you the story. He says, we started out and, you know, everybody was doing their own thing and they lived in their homes and they were kind of far away. And, and, uh, and then this, this tragedy hits, the country, the nation. And we all got together and we decided that we would uh, have a community garden. And there was one gentleman that had um, lots of garden space, but he had no water. And so we went and found somebody with some shares of water that said that he'd send some down the ditch to us. and. Uh, and, you know, he'd be happy to do that to help the community. And so we got together and we got all the community together. Everybody came. The women, they, they did these quilts and they made things. And, and uh, the guys, you know, the old men sat there at night with their little checkered games and played games all night. And then if they heard a raccoon or something, they'd run out and chase it or cottontail or something and scare it off or, or shoot it or whatever, you know. And so the old men, that was their job to guard the garden. And, uh, and then there were the little kids that came in and they weeded and they helped a little bit here and there. And everybody in the community took a part in this garden. And everybody talked to each other and they visited and they found out problems and so and so they need this. And there was a girl who, who got pregnant by some salesman that came through and, and she didn't have any money and she didn't, you know, she, she really had a hard time. And, and so they built her this little house out of the barn, you know, that she could stay, and they made her quilts, and, you know, and they had this, and she had this little baby, and everybody, you know, took part in that. It was, it was a wonderful thing, and, uh, and so there was all of this, this helping together, this bonding, and everybody loved it. They, they wanted to go to the garden. They wanted to have this, and see, we're, we're a people who are uh, um, collective people. We get in groups and we like it. We like social events. We like social things to talk to people. And especially during this time, you know, it wasn't like the Joneses, oh, look at her and her new car or any of that. Everybody was poor, so they were all on kind of an equal base, which made it very nice for people. And, um, and they became caring and loving and sharing and, and uh, you know, they, they helped one another. They, they it was just a wonderful, beautiful time, he said. And then he said, and then the depression ended. And then he said, nobody came to the farm. And you know, the farm dried up, and the old men didn't come back very much. You know, some came back for old times. And, and then everybody kind of went back to their houses. And once in a while, they'd see someone say, oh, hi, how are you doing? And you know, and then, and then it got lonely. And, People got sad and he said, I sure wish the depression was back because we as a people were one and we cared about each other. And so that's what Zion will be someday. It will be about the same kind of a structure where we all care about each other and we're all working towards a certain goal.